Welcome to Class Dojo. Class Dojo is a free web-based tool primarily used to track student behavior. Today's instructional video will confirm how easily accessible, simple, and convenient Class Dojo really is. We will begin by generating an account, choosing a grade level, naming our class, adding students, and choosing some of the default behaviors offered, and customizing a few of our own. So let's begin. Choose the sign up for free icon. We're going to sign up for Class Dojo as a teacher. Of course, I'll use myself as the classroom teacher and my school email. sure you choose a password that you can remember. Welcome to Class Dojo. I will choose my school, which should be here because I know a few of my teachers have already set up their own Class Dojo. As you can see, we have 11 teachers at McDonald Elementary that are currently using this web tool. Choose Join School. At this point, you have an opportunity to check out the demo class and see how that works. Class Dojo offers a variety of tutorials to assist in the process. We will move forward and add a class. For this instructional video, I will choose third grade. I chose third grade and now I will name my class. Something cute and creative for our instructional video. Blockers Beauties. At this point you have an opportunity to enter each student's name individually. You can copy and paste from a Word document or you can copy and paste from an Excel document. I'll add just a few students. And as each student is added, a randomly chosen avatar is generated for them. Now you do have an opportunity to edit the avatar monster at this point if you choose, but later on we're going to uh, show how the students have the opportunity to do that for themselves. Now that I've added a few students, I'm going to choose Done Adding Students. And at this opportunity, it advises you that you can invite parents to participate in viewing and interacting with their students' behavioral progress. We have generated our parent invites and each student will send home the Class Dojo information with a student account code and a parent account code. It gives the parents and the students opportunity to interact with the Class Dojo web tool and follow each student's behavior as, as well as comment on their student's behavior. Let's keep moving. At this point, we can customize behaviors or use some of the default behaviors that are listed. We all know how much participation is important. So participating during class sessions 
we're going to assign them a value of one point. Teamwork. Collaboration is a very important component of our daily learning, so we'll assign one point for teamwork. And it's always important that we stay on task. At this point, let's add a behavior. Let's add a behavior of listening. And we'll give that a point weight of 1 as well. Once we've chosen the behaviors or created the behaviors we want to assign, choose Finish. And now we have our Class Dojo dashboard. At this point, all of our students are displayed as well as an option for whole class. Class Dojo has many features. I'm going to take a moment to show you just a few of them. First of all, let's suppose John has done a nice job with staying on task. If you simply click on his name, you can choose the behavior that you would like to add and give him a point. One of the additional features with, with Class Dojo is that it offers an auditory confirmation for positive and or negative behavior. Each time a student receives a point, the whole class receives a point as well. Now, let's suppose that John still needs to work on talking out of turn. and He was doing a poor job during his sharing time. Now John has lost his point. When a student loses a point, so does the whole class. Now let's suppose that John, Ethan, and Bailey would like to change their avatar. Come to the Settings, drop-down menu, go to Edit Class, and click on the student. John would like to change his avatar. There's a lot of dojo monsters he has to choose from. After choosing his favorite, click Done, and now Save. John has now saved his new avatar. This is a great feature if you have a Promethean board because you can project your class dojo on the Promethean board and then the students can come up and interact with it and choose their own um, class dojo monster avatar. One more time, Ethan would like to change his. He scrolls through and chooses the avatar of his choice. Hit Done and Save and it's changed. Another feature when adding or deleting points is to award multiple points. So you can click on Award Multiple Points below and then choose on all the students that you would like to give a point to and choose Give Points. And the reasoning for that. Maybe they all worked together as a team so you could choose Helping Others or Teamwork. And once again, when every student or each student gets a point, the whole class gets a point as well. Now suppose you made a mistake and you choose the wrong group and it wasn't Bailey, Ethan, and John that were working together as a team. Simply click Undo and all the points are taken away. You can also group your students so that if you do have a team set up in your classroom and they do collaborate together on team projects, then you can set up those groups and award a group a set of points for positive and or negative behavior. Another feature is Class Story. Class Story is similar to the social networking environments like Edmodo or Facebook. A teacher can set up the Class Story 
offer the daily happenings or weekly happenings in the classroom. It shows how many parents are connected. And you can post pictures, samples of student work, so the parents and or students can follow what's happening in the classroom on a daily, weekly, monthly basis. Also, Class Dojo is available as an app for iOS and Android. Now, at the beginning, 11, it showed 11 of the teachers in my school that use Class Dojo. And one of the great features that I have noticed is they'll be walking down the hallway with their student or during lunchtime or assemblies or even in the library. And as the students are exhibiting the behaviors that have been discussed on their phones, they are awarding points and or removing points. So when the students return to class, Class Dojo is displayed on the Promethean board so they can all see who received points, who didn't receive points, and also they can set goals, class goals for points, with incentives and personal goals for personal incentives. Another feature offered by Class jo a Dojo is the opportunity to use it as as a tool for taking attendance. Down here below you click attendance and then you can either mark all the students present, present, mark them all absent, or click the student that's absent and leave the ones alone that are present. Come to the bottom right to save attendance. Once enough of your students have accumulated quite a bit of points, you can go to your view reports where this will give you a nice report of the different behaviors that have been charted talking out of turn, off task, on task, and the percentage of positive behaviors and as well as how many students needs work, need work and how many positive behaviors were recorded. Now you can view the whole class, you can view each individual student, and the student breakdown tells you the specific behaviors that were awarded. If we look at John, we can see there were some positive and there were some negative behaviors. You can view either this week, last week, you can change the time frame of the reports, it tells you how many parents and students accounts that you have. You can view it on a spreadsheet and it also gives you the opportunity to print. Although Class Dojo's primary purpose is to track and manage student behavior, there are a variety of other ways that you can use Class Dojo. You can create a hidden class and use Class Dojo to assist with checking students academic progress, checking students mastery. You can create, instead of behaviors, you can create skills that students are working on. Also, students have an opportunity to create their own class dojo system where they can learn how to self-assess themselves. For example, with the Daily Five, there are some clear-cut behaviors assigned to each of the components of the Daily Five. If each student had their own class dojo set up for themselves, they would have the opportunity to manage and self-assess their own behaviors as they learn the different components and progress through those predictable structures. I hope you've enjoyed this instructional video, and I hope you choose to implement the class dojo as many of my teachers have and they are having great success. Best wishes. Thank you.